Hey guys, welcome to the styling part of this tutorial. So what we did lastly is converting the Warframe and bring it to Photoshop to have a detailed one. So what we're going to do now is to style this out. First thing we need to do is to focus only on the heading part like on the logo, the navigation, the background image and this browsers right here. So to get started, I've actually downloaded a sample image that we can test on. I download this on Stockfresh so I'll include this on the resource below so just download it and use it for personal use only so open up to Photoshop so this is a office workspace cut it out and bring it back here so this is the background so remove the rectangle and make this stretch to the very top like that and paste the image above it right click and create clipping mask so that it will mask to this base layer which is this rectangle right here you can actually resize it by pressing ctrl T like that and bring it upwards like that something that looks like this position is great and the thing we need to do is to blur this out so to do this go to filter and blur we have this available option for Photoshop CS6 which is field blur or you can also use Gaussian blur for the previous version who is using CS5 down to the previous one so for this tutorial I'm going to use field blur so 15 pixel is too much try maybe 10 yeah something like that and click on OK then we're going to play with contrast so what I'm going to do now is go to image and go to levels pump up the darkness to about 10 and then the gray to 1 and I'm going to add a photo filter and make it black and pump up the density to 60 something like that one and then 
go to adjustment again and go to curves and pump up the darkness a bit and increase the light something like that and let's adjust this and increase the blur maybe something like that and then in this layer we're going to apply a pattern overlay so something like this one and decrease the opacity to 20 pixels or maybe 10 pixels will do or 15 pixels yeah 10 pixels will do something like that one and then let's turn the opacity down to 80 or 70 percent I mean the fill color and for this line let's turn this to 20 percent and for our logo let's add a drop shadow did I done it right? Yes. Drop shadow. Make this 90 and 0. Or maybe increase it to 1. And lower down the opacity to 30 or 40. Increase it to 2. something that looks like that or just maybe increase this to 2 pixels and decrease the opacity to 30% do the same here what we can actually do if we have light lighter part here we want it to be darker to make the logo pump up let's use the burn tool and decrease the exposure to about 20 percent and just slowly add some darkness there something like that as well as here because we want it to pump it out more and then increase the lightness by using dodge tool on the lighter section of this image so something like that and I also prepared the scheme I use for you to see for the button, I'll be using this red color and this one, light gray, for 
or read more buttons and then this color will be a part of a background and this white color is for our main background so we will apply that later on as you can see right here going to compare that one it's still too far but we will not exactly we're just trying to get closer to this one can't remember what or what is the effect or the settings I've applied to this but let's make it closer to that one so let's apply again some adjustments and for now let's apply a photo filter the underwater to about 60 to 50 Something like that. And then for this button, we're going to use this color FB2F3A. And to pump this out more, go let's go add a drop shadow for it. And two one will do and decrease the opacity to 50 percent or 40 and just make it one and one and maybe two 30 yep that will do and for this text let's make it lighter one so maybe one two three four five six c c c c will do and then let's add a drop shadow the same to this one as well as here so to do this just control select the logo and press alt then drag it to the layer you want to apply let's see if it's looking great I guess so and then for this browser we need to change this to white one and then or maybe this color e e e, -E. zoom in and apply a gradient overlay by 5 pixels to 10 or 7 and apply an inner shadow and make the color to white So do the same for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then apply it there, and there.
next up we we'll just copy the screenshots I did here and place it right here and create a clipping mask so that it will be more easier and do for dribble as well create clipping mask and for behance as well create clipping mask what's next is let's going to style this out so I'm just going to grab the color for this one so this this and this one for the effect let's try first one will be a stroke make it white get outside if you want inner shadow will be like something like this one you can actually choke it inside and add a gradient to overlay something like that and the and the decrease the opacity to 50% well, let's make an inner glow decrease the choke make this multiply make it black decrease the opacity and just do this and inner glow will be white one and then the blend mode will be screen And 20 kind of hate that stroke let's do a drop shadow instead one zero make it normal 100% is the opacity and white one let's see which is looks better that looks good we try to apply this to the other one let's see how it looks if we get the effect mm, yep I like a bit a bit closer let's just make this 30 and apply it again and apply this here as well so copy it and then 
this color and this color and do it something that looks like that don't need to create for this one because it's hidden so let's continue so above this one we will create a shadow so make sure that it's right above everything right here is the perfect place and create a selection make 20 percent set the foreground to black and choose this one and start dragging something like looks like this and align it properly like that and decrease the opacity to 30 or 40 and then resize it like make it something that looks like this 7 pixels or maybe more like five pixels something like that and for the browser we're going to select its base background here and find the base background of the other one and by pressing Control shift you will see a plus sign on the layers panel with that pointing hand tool Control click to that So it will add the selection Find the last base layer and do the same So we have a selection like this and then outside of the browser create a new layer and paste it inside it it will automatically bring that layer on the very bottom fill the layer with black color using the foreground as you can see it's filled now I'm going to drag it or you can just when it's selected use paint bucket tool to apply the color like that and then go to filter blur and caution blur as you can see it it the edges now are have the shadow effect using the blur filter hit ok and decrease the opacity to 60 to 40 percent i think 60 will be great something that looks like that Next is to style this portion. So we will leave it this way for this time. 
next one will be this part so let's go change the fill color to this one and let's change this button fill color and we will also change the background to this one and then we're going to change this as well to a darker one so one two three four five six d d d d will be fine for that one and let's change the icons color to six 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 something like that and for this one the background of those icons let's add an effect So apply an inner shadow, one, hmm, one, one will be fine and decrease the opacity to 30% and apply maybe a gradient overlay that is reversed and increase the Density two, ten or five pixels, and for each background, the circle area. Let's add a gradient overlay, five percent as well, and let's add a stroke inside it to color white and apply a drop shadow about two three four maybe two or three yes and decrease the opacity to 30 to 40 percent something that looks like that if it's too heavy for you or for me let's try it seven nope let's try this 30% something like that will do for me and for each icons I'm going to apply inner shadow as well so 1 1 and the opacity will be 60 to 50 and add a drop shadow to white one something like that apply to all of the icons so it's more look good for me let's see if we did it right here so what I actually do here is too bright can't even see can't even see the details but here I added more contrast 
so if I'm going to be the same as the background color it still looks good but making it darker it's more noticeable and it's more good I think and let's make this heading to 3333 do the same as well here and for the text I'm not sure what I color it but let's try to copy it so 70 70 for the text and for this one let's just add an inner glow make this multiply decrease the opacity to 30 percent or 20 add a drop shadow of 20 something like that let's try to look at what I did here so I've added an yeah so let's add an inner shadow and make this normal and decrease the opacity to 20 pixels or 15 will do something like that and copy this tiles then let's see the heading part it looks good on this part it still looks good then what we can do maybe is to add a drop shadow for this one make it zero and decrease the opacity to 30 or 4 or 60 do the same as well right here So as you can see, it's more crisp when it's on the original size, like here, 100%. So let's move in, or actually we will need to add a drop shadow for this one. make this normal change the color to let's see what I've added I guess it's CCC ah, D, 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 D. but as 
me let's try to add one two three four five six d d d d okay maybe decrease this to e5 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 something like that and for the portfolio and no we can actually add an inner shadow for this one and let's make it white so it has more details and nice edges so as you can see right there hmm, I think I think that is enough on the this section for portfolio let's just do the same change the fill color to three 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 same as here for the headings and for the links will be red one so this one is for the links change it to red one for the text it's 77 D let's do the same and for the tags let's try to imitate the color so 9999 for the tags because the main focus here is the title not the tags let's try to do as an example hmm my theme it's RV and then first web designer and lab zip first web designer Let's just change this to logo design, web design, and web design. And for the other links, let's change it to the same color. So this one is red. And change this to 999. to add more contrast and nice text format and color so for the domain change it to red the name will be it's correct 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 for the text it's 70 70 so now 
the only thing we need to add is the this one so what we can do there is the original size for this one is 220 by 160 let's make the fill color to white and add a stroke the color will be two, three, four, five, six, D, 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 D. do the same here as well one two make the stroke color to this one as well as here this one and above it let's create a new layer and let's figure out what will be the size so the padding or the margin on all corners will be 5 pixels so that will be 220 minus 10 for left and right and 160 minus 10 so 210 by 150 to 10 by 150 let's just change the color to do the same what it's for number two yep and then for number three duplicate it again place it to four something that looks like that oops then we need just to copy this one Is it right there? And just change it to like that. Copy this as well. Place it here. Make this white one. Do the same for lab zip. Make it white. Place it right above there. Something like that. Let's see what are the things we've missed. Mm -hmm. So, this one. Let's grab some images. So, that's me. So, you can add a clipping mask and let's copy 9gag logo stock fresh do it the same here 
and change this to 9 gag then the domain will be 9 gag 9 gag dot com and make this normal and for Facebook and Twitter let's just copy the color Since we style the button cleverly, we can just copy it and apply to this one to have the same effect. And maybe decrease the drop shadow to... Yep, that I think that is fine. let's see what are the things we've missed let's try to go back on the top part so the logo is good and it's noticeable it grabs attention this tagline here the catchy text and the call to action button is well presented and it is more popped up and different compared to other buttons so that's the main goal to make the user click for this one and for the browsers it's pop up well with the help of the drop shad drop shadow at the back so let's try to play it and add some more shadows so let's increase it yeah 60 I think is the best one this also helps separate the separate this section here from this section and that white stroke here or the inner shadow the white one helps to make it more distinguished and we have a sharp edge with the lighter color and for the icons here I think I did it well here compared to the very light one and I think what's missing here is I resize the icon to 40 which is smaller compare what I did to this one it's 52 so let's try to make this 52 like that let's try to align it here mm -hmm.
here as well, 52. this as well 52 that's great portfolio section is in place This one is in place. Footer section is in place. And for this one, let's make it D, 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 D as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the same for this one. this and lastly this one hmm. copyright dip 2013 like us on Facebook tweet follow us on Twitter hmm. let's see how about in the banner part I think I didn't copy the effect for this this one it's more lighter compared to mine here but they are both closer to each other and this have more contrast compared to that one and let's change the drop shadow to one for this and one for this as well but for this one we'll have a two pixel drop shadow hmm let's see if we're going to compare it hmm but yeah we've applied our main goal based on our inspiration we added a blurry background that related to our work so it is an office work a design agency and we showcase our works here like for example we did dribble first web designer design and for behance just for example that we did their website because I think that's it this three here examples are great websites and here we did it well we added more contrast and make this more noticeable compared to mine here it's too light and here it has more contrast and I decided to make the button more bigger equal to here so this and this has the same size in the portfolio section nothing fancy but it is aligned perfectly and they blend well and for the icons nothing fancy and for the footer section we have the testimonial right in place we switch from our actual warframe here 
to the left on, I mean to the right and then we place it to the left here to make it balance the same here our latest posts latest tweets and then the footer section let's see if we did it right yep so that's it for this tutorial I walk you through from the first part where to gain some inspiration from dribble deviant art or behance and after that with that inspiration in mind you you need to create a warframe based of the goal of the website so here is a general idea of what is my website will look like and then after that is to decide what are the main colors and the text to be used so search for inspiration again from other websites so what I've got is Museo and Helvetica for the text and where did I get it I just searched it from Google free ones and apply it to the design and also for the colors website great website for that is color lovers where you can see some latest trends of color schemes of web design and then with the inspiration you like and you want to apply in your design you will start to make this by transferring first the initial warframe to Photoshop before applying styles because that will make your workflow more faster because at first you just try to place the elements on the right position and right alignment spacing etc as well as the sizes of the text the contrast so that on the later one when you will apply the styles you will only focus on the styling to be applied but it is more easier because you can contrast it on the previous part which is from dark gray light gray version so in here you just you notice that here I only just try to change the color darker the right color like 3333 and for the text is 77D and then if you decided for your color scheme what will it be place it like something like this so that you will not forgot and then you can just grab and click it and then apply it to the button itself for example here of your decided to switch color you just copy that and then make it like that so that is easy and make sure that applying a blurry background make sure that the text or the elements here is pop out more compared to the background because the main goal here is to it's not the background but the content here to make the user click on that call to action button there and yeah I keep the footer simple as possible here as well and a bit more detailed here because this is the way I design plan design develop lunch that's the goal of the website
to show the users what are the steps or what are you doing in processing the website so I think that's it for this tutorial I hope you've learned something and I hope you enjoyed it it's kinda long and maybe you get bored but this may be helpful for the beginners out there who just started so if I'm doing it fast just ask question in the comment section below and I will be glad if you suggest something how I can improve for the next tutorial I will be doing will it be again teach some design process how to do it or I can just go directly design the website for you and if you want it more detailed I can do that as well but here as you notice in this tutorial I just I do it more faster because it's really time consuming but I think you can still follow it and I hope you have a great output of this tutorial and I hope you can apply it on your projects as well so that's it I'll see you guys on my next tutorial